Hey what's going on tribe, it's Red again, just hitting you guys up with another video If you're new to my channel, welcome So guys, this video is about old souls Because basically I was watching um, I was watching one video on YouTube And this guy was basically saying About having to reincarnate again and stuff And I was like, oh, you know what, that so resonates man um, So I was like, oh yeah, let me do a video on it Because I know I've incarnated here so many times And um what he was saying um, just resonated so much for me anyway. Um, and there's, these are some of the thoughts that um, that I get when I go through my low, low days. Because he was talking about his low days as well. So I'm going to do a video about um, yeah, your, when you're going through low vibration or dark, dark period or dark night of the soul. No, not dark night of the soul, but um, just going through the lows because you have your ups and downs, right? Um, so yeah, this is for the... Um, esoteric folk anyway because you know this channel is just for uh, the supernatural and shit and the weird and and the weirdos and that <laughs> so um yeah some of the thoughts that i get sometimes um one of them is um i've reincarnated here so many times and um i have to go go for it again um and am i am i going to kind of get to spiritually where I want to be to help others should I say um so yeah having to reincarnate again and um basically having to do the whole process again because um yeah it sometimes it just feels long like I've done it before and I've got to do it again to a certain degree and um some of the other other um things that uh I'd be, I'd be, uh I'd be thinking about that thoughts that run through my head or get a bit anxious um is am I on the right path but you always get guided and um see signs when you're on the right path anyway but um yeah sometimes it's um just picking up the collective energy um and what I, sorry I've got just written it down as well and um yeah how can I be of service um like obviously once you become more conscious you start thinking yeah um how can i be of service to like kind of help others and help the planet and stuff um so yeah trying to um yeah just thinking of ways to kind of are you doing enough should i say because that's one of my lessons um being good enough as well um <laughs> and sometimes that like, i pick up the collective energy as well being an old soul you're very sensitive to energy so some of the other thoughts that i'll be thinking as well are, is like um are we going to make it as a race well the humans are the humans going to make it as a race um ascend um unite um and be more kinder to each other and stuff because um yeah if you look around the world for men since the dawn of time humans have just been murdering each other and blah 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 so um and it's basically if you have a if had to experience it before in like past lives or whatever um yeah just kind of witnessing it witnessing it again and this time around nothing's changed you're going experiencing the same kind of thing so yeah it gets quite frustrating and then um another one is what um this is more of a collective one as well is um are we going to become um so powerful with like technology and stuff that we implode like um atlantis did because um if you do your research atlantis was a city and they become too powerful and then they basically imploded and with the way technology is going it's it seems to be going the kind of same way but um obviously you just gotta have faith and just um you know it's a part of the journey because yeah, it's not going to happen again, but it's a thought that runs through my mind. I'm not sure. It might be a past life if I um, incarnated in Atlantis and experienced what happened. But um, like with nuclear bombs and stuff, and you've got the government fucking letting off nuclear bombs in fucking in in the desert in America and stuff that I've been watching in America, like like in the 60s and stuff when they um, found, become aware of nuclear power and stuff. So yeah, it's quite. Um, yeah, that's quite quite scary to think of. Um, yeah, are we going to um, get so powerful with technology that we kind of implode? Um, 
and another one is um will we, will we respect mother earth um she doesn't need us like without humans here um she will be doing much better in a much better state and um yeah will, will we keep um using up the natural resources and basically destroy the planet like we did to mars um because yeah you're gonna have to look into the mars one because um yeah why are humans are so interested in mars and there's evidence that we was on mars and stuff like that um but yeah I'd, i think um yeah we destroyed mars and then we just hot planet and we're basically doing the same thing as we did to mars basically anyway um <clears throat> so yeah they're, they're some of the thoughts that i go i, I pick up anyway um or run through my head it's like yeah like picking up the collective energy because you look around the world there's a lot of good in the world but there's also a lot of bad and i think that's one reason why we're coordinated during this like special time of um the transition of um the age of pisces to aquarius um to assist with the shift obviously but um like people think the shift's gonna t you're gonna wake up one day and you're gonna be in 5d and shit and it's like no the shift's gonna take like it's gonna take years so that's quite um yeah it's quite daunting should i say um but yeah you've got to try to stay as present as possible because um what you see in external reality um yeah there's some stuff going on but um it's just about kind of um keeping your internal reality in check so if you're kind of at peace like whatever happens around you you're not um you're not too affected by it so being a spiritual having a human experience it's about um being part of the world but not of it if that makes sense um <clears throat> but it's like i was saying it's for the esoteric folk anyway um the supernatural and the inner inner work and all that shit um but yeah a lot of people are waking up and shit um so that's that's positive and people are coming together more so it, it is hopeful and stuff man but um that's why you got a lot of everything that's going on right now and it yeah, started last year with the divide and all this shit with getting the and that it's like yeah you've had it you haven't had it um you've got to keep your distance it's keeping people apart again and not uniting like um religion and stuff um so yeah, there's certain things that have been um, put in place to um, stop us uniting and coming together. But it's happening anyway, but it's going to be a very slow process because I think each... Um, each kind of era we go to, like each... Um, is it era? Each phase we go through... Um, last for like 2,000 years or something. So the age of Pisces lasted 2,000 years and um, yeah, the age of Aquarius is going to last 2,000 years or something like that. Um, you're going to have to check it out. If I'm, um, I, can't, I can't remember it, but if, if it was like 2,000 years or 2,000 or something like that. <coughs> um, so yeah, I'll just read you out some kind of um, old soul traits. Um, this is my personal experience anyway. Um, but yeah, you can look up look up old souls anyway to find out more information. But this is just a little um, my experience anyway. Um, you're interested with history and philosophy. Um, history, like I love history. Uh, I did it in school, but like when I become more conscious, things just didn't resonate and stuff. Like a lot of history has been destroyed or hidden from us, so you can only go back so far. Um, and the same thing's happening again um, with all the, what's it called, uh, censorship and all this shit um, and the fact checker. But the fact checker, the people that's doing the fact checkers are the same people that's funding it, if that makes sense. So, yeah, um, yeah, a lot of history has been hidden. Um, yeah, so philosophy, like, I love the supernatural. Um, even since a kid, I was just sensitive to energy. Like, I could just pick up stuff. Um, like, I could when I go to different areas, I can just feel stuff that's happened, even not knowing it, if it makes sense. So it's like, yeah, if you go, yeah, I could just feel stuff anyway. Um, and being an old soul, we tend to be um, rebellious in nature. Um, yeah, because all rules and regulations, they're all basically man-made. They say 
they're there to keep us safe or whatever. But then again, it's um, another form of control. So like, you know, borders and, oh yeah, this is our country and that's, it's, dude, it's like someone just drew a line across the sand and said, yeah, this is ours and that's yours basically. When it's like, dude, no one, um, the world isn't yours to be fucking setting them kind of rules and shit. Um, so yeah, that we're just rebellious in nature. Um, yeah. Um, and being an old soul, for me anyway, I'm drawn to old people. So um, I get on with people in my age group, but I tend to get on better with old folks because they've got a lot of knowledge um, to teach um, and just to hear from their life experience. Um, and then also um, with the being drawn to old folks, it's weird, um, children are drawn to me. So the stuff that I can... Um, that I learn from old folks, I teach to young folks. It's weird because, um, yeah, little kids would just fucking um, just come up to me and start chatting to me and shit. Um, I was in the skate park and I was hanging out, doing doing what I was doing, and then like, I was just surrounded by kids and that. Oh yeah, they started doing their little thing and that. So I was like, all right, cool. So I started to chat to them and explain to them certain things and stuff, but um, not just about skate skating, but um, just in general. Um, yeah, and, and animals. Oh Jesus. Um, yeah, I attract so many animals, like fucking, I have squirrels coming up to me, um, I almost took home a fucking pet crow, like last year, I think, um, yeah, I'm just attracted to animals and shit, animals are just attracted to you for some reason, um, and being an old soul, we like being, um, in nature, like, being, being in, in nature is like, f refreshing and recharges your energies, um, and it's a good way to get grounded as well because um like yeah being an old soul um like all the concrete is all like it's all man-made in it and it's like yeah it's not natural like you know the tower blocks and they're just it's just, to me it's just energy harvesting they're just stacking people on top of each other and just harvesting it like yeah all these tower blocks and shit yeah that's my um, view on it anyway but um yeah so being out in nature is um refreshing very very refreshing um yeah being also you're drawn to the the mystic spirituality and astrology um they kind of i was always kind of drawn to them from a kid anyway um but when the more conscious i become the more in depth i had to go into it like finding that my sun moon rising sign um numerology and stuff like that and um yeah, being an old soul, you're probably an empath and very sensitive to energy, so you'll be needing a lot of alone time. Because, um, yeah, I can pick up on people's energy without them even knowing it and shit. Um, so, yeah, you know, you walk into a room, someone's had an argument or something, and you can just pick up the energy, the vibes off. Um, yeah, we're very sensitive to that. Um, so, yeah, good thing is trying to protect your energy. So, um, crystals, grinding... Um, cleansing, white sage, and Santo Polo is good. Um, and being an old soul, we question everything, like, and always ask why. Um, it's funny because my daughter's like this. She always has to ask why. And, yeah, why why this and why that? And I'm she gets it from me anyway. Um, yeah, because certain things just don't resonate, um, like what's going on. Yeah, you've been done and you haven't. Um, so you're putting us at risk and that it's like what like dude do your research and it, none of it makes sense anyway so yeah we like to ask why a lot why do we have to do this why is the world like that and yeah just why 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 and it's been like that from a kid like even um yeah being a kid uh, you're older than your years being an old soul as well like <sighs> even being a kid being in um i don't know nurse uh, not, uh, reception or whatever if we, there was some someone come to I don't know, teach us, um, an assembly or something like that. And out of all the hundreds of kids there, out of all the crowd, I'll be, up, um, my mum told me this as a kid, yeah, out of everyone, it will always be me putting my hand up, wanting to ask questions like, why this and why that? Um, yeah, it's just a part of being an old soul. It's like, yeah, like, I, I need to know why. Why, why, why? <laughs> um, and being an old soul, you have a good sense of self. So you can be a, part of the crowd but you're still an individual in the crowd 
because um, you know some people I don't know they become they become the crowd like get drawn into the crowd and become the crowd and they kind of lose their self their sense of self. Um, so yeah, old souls have a um, a good sense of self, should I say? Um, and being an old soul, you just feel like you don't fit in. Like it just doesn't feel at home. You don't feel at home here. I don't know why, it just feels fucking strange. Um, yeah, you just don't feel at home and don't fit in. Like, um, yeah, like I show up, but yeah, I just feel like I don't fit in. I've always felt that way anyway. Um, doing different things or whatever. Yeah, just, um, yeah, just don't fit in. Uh, I don't know what the hell it is. It's just weird. Um, um, and old souls like to think outside the box. So if there's like certain... Um, situations or problems old souls tend to think outside the box to resolve the problem um which is quite cool um because yeah some people think oh they can't solve certain um, problems or situations and stuff and being an old soul it's like oh yeah like if i've given the um someone could tell me a problem and i could say yeah why not do this and they're like oh like i didn't think of that and i'm like yeah it's just um yeah and you give good advice as well being an old soul when you're not in the situation. So if someone comes to you for advice, um, yeah, you're pretty good at giving, um, I'm pretty good at giving um, advice, knowledge, and just sharing what I've got to share, man. But um, there's obviously, if you Google it, there's more more um, more traits of being an old soul, but I was just going off my personal experience anyway, man. But yeah, that was a little video about old souls, and I'm gonna be doing a video about the lows as well. So um, yeah, if you like the video, you guys know what to do. Um, peace, love, and light, guys, and I'm going to hit you up real soon anyway.